<laughs> so what's up to Andrew? I was just doing some custom uh, custom made shit because the stupid fucking step drill wasn't working. So how'd you do it? <laughs> Good grind. Old trusty, eh? Fucking no, let's have a look Careful then. without chopping fingers off. Yes. I have please. filed a little bit just to take the burrs off, but... And why are we putting so much TLC into the uh, snail at the moment? Well, someone uh, made the bad decision of wanting it at CRC Speed Show. So welcome back. Uh, so yeah, as Andrew said, tonight's about getting the snail ready for the CRC Speed Show. Obviously not a car built for speed, but um, I think there's a weird and wacky section and this car is perfect for that. So that will be going to that area on the weekend. And proof that you can polish a turd. The guys are using gun wash to try to get all the blemishes out. She's a beauty underneath all of this, mate. Oh, I don't know about that. Still it's the stock 12A, but hey, definitely weird and wacky though. We'll say that. That's a step up from Jason's usual effort, so it can't have been him that did that then. What's that? What a rangy job, look at that. So none of us are going up with the car, so it's going to be sent up on a truck and... Are you what, Hamilton? So yeah, it'll just be looked after by someone at the show, I believe. Bloody weird. In the old uh, new shed, seen some love. It's got a new 75 inch TV sitting pretty. We'll hook a PlayStation up to that later on. All right, now some time for V8 love, so you rotary owners might want to skip ahead a couple of minutes. Might have noticed Jason's car from the hoist for the last few videos. Uh, that's because the engine just hasn't been happy ever since he's got it. So he's pulled it out and sent it to a different engine builder. Uh, this time it's with Lama, who um, are tearing it down and uh, rebuilding it to hopefully um, never break down again. But uh, every event it was breaking, so it's getting to the point where it's a bit ridiculous. No comment, eh, Andrew? Nah, fucking hate the thing. The V8 will still go good. It just needs to be built by the right person. So that will be built, um, built right, and hopefully you can see a few events. Um, I think long-term plans is to put the old FJ Turbo back in there, which is a four-banger, I think two-litre, eh? The old yeah. FJs, um, which is the original engine that came in the car. Um, but for now, yeah, it's going to try the V8 and actually get it working. And the motor's been dropped back into Jason's brother's car. A bit more assembly work to be done there, and it's back to a running car, and then it'll be off to get complied, I guess, and road legal. From there. You see what I see? It's fully wrecked. Sure is. Really? This engine! Holy shit. Look, the radiator's fallen out. Yeah, that's the engine right there. That is some crash. That is this one's crazy. Gone. That is definitely fully wrecked, Max. You were right. Do you want the full story? Full. Yeah, do the full story. So, we ended up with motor and gearbox <laughs> sitting on the ground here. And then Andrew ended up with a great idea to get it fired up on the pallet one day. And once we got it all running and stuff, we decided that we had no cars to put it in for a reunion. So we decided that we had to find something to put it in. And I think you've got the photo, but it was sitting on top of the stack of the wreckers across the road. It's a sneaky Basically, I Easter egg. <laughs> walked over, walked over and took a Snapchat, and Andrew was like, this is what it needs to go on. So it's just 12A. 12A tall, tall, tall port. So slightly better, if you want to call it better, I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> it, was, it was so hidden this whether it was going to be any good or not. And then we really got fuzzy with everything else. So didn't touch it until two weeks <laughs> before weeks reunion. Prior. And then Andrew spent just about every day down here as well. And it still uses the RX4, uh, which is what the engine came out of. Um, RX4 power steering setup. So, like, just adapted to work in the S cargo, so the power steering still works. And it needed a small Japanese diff, so I was like, ah, oh, come across the 626 on the, the typical marketplace crap, and then, yeah, just bought that. We went straight in, didn't have to oh, shorten it or lengthen it or anything? Ridiculous. Nah, surprisingly, so the rear, well, the rear guards are like a bolt on flare, um, but only because we chopped it higher to get the car lower, so. It's kind of the original flares are all sort of moulded into this, this weird arrangement. Basically we did the same as what we did to the rocket bunny kit. <laughs> yeah. 
we were still working on it at 5 o'clock in the morning the Thursday before reunion, but the truck was sitting out there waiting to leave. Yeah. And we were idling, still welding idling the seat up. It's kind of... Come on, film my crack. I left my belt behind. I hope you didn't get that shot, mate. It's a you'll, family you'll show. Have to, you'll have to find out. It's a family show, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the whole car is like kind of built from I need to. just the random crap lying around. You know what I mean? Like just it's kind of like, oh yeah, we'll just use that. And like, like the the tailpipes and the exhausts are off my burnout skyline. The old exhaust off that, and we're just like, oh, we'll cut it up. But then even that. Like the, the bins, we didn't do any bins, they're just bins like just fit. The cra the craziest thing was the drive shaft. Oh yeah, like the put the motor in like ages ago and then put the, the diff, diff went in like in that last week basically. Yeah, I was like, oh it's probably about the right length. Just slid it in and it was literally the perfect length, so it's just like kinda meant to be rotary parts are meant to go into it, so yeah, yeah. Like it's not meant to be amazing. It's just meant to work. I.e. <laughs> Show car. I guess the, the whole point of the build was controversial, something different, something you wouldn't really expect, uh, and super low cost. My fun! This man that annoyed me. Like, it actually looks a right great on it. Stupid blue. It's just funny how it all sort of turned out. Like basically it was started as a piss take really and then uh, we got to reunion and everyone <laughs> loved it and then the plan was sort of to pull it all apart after reunion and do other shit with it um, with all the bits basically but we both undenied for ages and then decided that we'd sort of keep it together because so many people like it for, ex for instance yeah, yeah. <laughs> speed show I've tried, to get a, I've tried to get cars in the speed show for years and they've never wanted anything. And then they want this. Then we got a piece of shit that we don't really care about. Yeah. And then uh, I was like, oh, can you bring it to the speed show? And there's been a bit of pressure to turbocharge it too from um, who Mr. was. Mr. Ellicott himself. Moro. I really want a turbo in this So do I. So do I. I feel like it needs to have. <laughs> Can't be injected, it needs to have like a draw through yeah. sort of side draft. Like sucking through a side draft. Yeah. Something else in the plans for that. For a, oh, the skid car. Ah, yeah. Something, skid something, car. something being built and then something being rebuilt. Yeah. Starting John Pizza duties. Good what stuff, mate. Bro? What do you want for your pizza, bro? Oh, um, oh. Uh, Hawaiian, Hawaiian for the Blair. Hawaiian? Yep, thank you. With a dirty crust. No cheesy crust. So, Max, we're gonna set you up with a pretty sweet seat. What do you reckon? Play Minecraft in a Cobra. How does that sound? You got seat season, buddy. Yeah. How's that? This is cool. You just sit down and relax. Spin my head out. Can't reach the pedal, so I can't run away. I'm fine. Just doing a sticker for the reunion boys. They wanted some measurements so they can chuck a sticker on it while it's at speed show. Bit of advertising for everyone. It's missing a lid. Oh no, where's the lid? Oh, there's the lid. Is that, a, is that an official sponsorship from CRC, is it's, it? It's uh, CRC Motorsport, it's going there, CRC so... CRC need to hook us up. Yeah, CRC. Where's the free product? When you need to see, use CRC! That's me, bro. What do you want to fucking set it up? Roads closed, pizza boy.
So how's your um, your dirty crust pizza there, Blair? Mm. It's got a lot of good sort of cheesy consistency to it. Who needs a jack when you've got a forklift? That's why it's called a forklift. So we don't discriminate here using both HKS and Tyne C spanners. With custom light bulbs. <laughs> <laughs> Way too much fucking hey, gun wash for you guys. Chick magnet, mate. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, it wasn't that Pepsi. I think it was the gun wash goons from the fort. She's in. That's the eardrums. What eardrums? And all the cars we've had out there, that was by far the loudest. <laughs> what do you reckon? <laughs> violent, violent, fucking brutal. What was that, Blair? <laughs> One of the toughest street cars in New Zealand. Oh, it's definitely right. tough, right? Tough to get on the truck in the wet. Not that one. Not that one. Oh, 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 oh. oh. How's she looking, Blair? Good, mate. Fucking marvellous. I've done these bad boys for a few years now. I <laughs> <laughs> know how to light a good loader. <laughs> oh. I'm glad that's his job. Bugger doing that. You can only just fit an Andrew down there. This looks like a bullet hole on the that gunner. Yeah. He was gonna. Yeah. Vietnam. Yeah. Into it. Ah. So he was in. He's like one of very few that were in Korea, Vietnam, and. So he went for one of his tours then. Yeah, man of international. But well, he lied about his age when he was younger. Oh yeah. Got so it. He was only like 17, and he went to wherever it was, Korea or whatever. It
Max, what are your thoughts on the snail? It's noisy, it's different, and I like it. But where would you? Alrighty. Something very uh, unusual here. The snail. No, RE snail. Sorry, I'm not reading that right through the lens. RE should be a bit of a clue as to what's going on here. Isn't this an S cargo? Actually, run on the same floor pan as the um, K12 March, if I'm if I'm correct in my remembering. Oh my God! Uh oh! It's got a brup 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 in the front of it, and it's going to be pretty brup 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 with the pipes coming out there. It just can't be roadly. Oh no, fake plates. There you go. It's just a show car. Imagine to do pretty good skits, wouldn't it? Sure. What's in the back? We've got a twin turbo V6 in the back. Oh, we've got a fuel tank. Fair enough. Oh, she's not finished yet. Okay. It's a bit to go. Let's go. That's all right. We all know that feeling. There we go. Some fancy gauges there. Used to be a big ugly speedo there, but there's a couple of gauges there instead. I think it's probably temp and oil pressure. I'd add a guess. Add a guess. So, there you go. I said I would do a video. I've done a video. Here you go, boys. Pretty cool. I see a video of it doing skids. There probably is one around. I just need to look, I suppose. All good. Is it coming? There it is. Oh, there it is. So Andrew needs to help pull the truck back. Check that floor out, mate. See the flashing lights? We've got perspex. <laughs> Come down and check out this beautiful piece of work here. What the hell? <laughs>